Oh, hello. Today you will be playing Cad. He owns a small, yet successful, hot dog stand at the Mermaid City Promenade. But this morning, he found this punk kid named Buster, who decided to open an illegal hot dog stand right next to Chad. Buster is making sure no one buys that Chad's stand. Buy there and I'll stab you. If you want a hot dog, you buy one here. But his hot dogs are cheaper and tastier. Say what? Uh-uh, yeah, I'll buy your hot dog. Think you have what it takes to help Chad out? I sure hope so. Good luck! It appears that someone glued you to your chair. Now who could have done this? Either way, you can't leave this chair. <laughs> the heat dissolved the glue on the chair. I think you're free to go. You picked up a delicious hot dog from the counter. Hello? Hey Donna, I need your help. Sure, what's up? There's this punk kid outside my hot dog stand I need to get rid of. Could you come here and keep an eye on my stand while I'm taking care of business? Of course, I'll be right there. After a few seconds, you hear a knock on the door. It's Donna. How convenient. Hey Donna, thanks for coming in such short notice. No problem. So, you brought a chick to protect your stand. Nice move. Lucky for you, I don't stab girls. Hey, you! Buy a hot dog or I'll stab you! Hey, Chad dude, what's up? I have some trouble with this punk kid who scares everyone from buying at my place. Um, now that's not good for business. I would come help you. But I can't leave my place. I can't even leave to buy myself lunch. And I'm very hungry. That's cool. I'll find a way to get rid of him. I brought you one of my special hot dogs. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. I'm starving. So, can you come and help me now with that rotten punk? No, I can't leave my place on the ten dead. But I will give you one souvenir of your choice for free. Just choose whichever item you want. Cool! I'll take this one. Excellent choice! You place your new bucket carefully in your pocket. Lucky you! You found a magnifying glass! Now that's an interesting ad. If you know any miserable, deserted kid, please call Miss Mother Goodhart. Miss Mother Goodhart helps all misfortunate children. There's a small picture of Miss Mother Goodhart. She looks like she escaped from a mental institution. And still you decide to take her number. Just in case. You fill your bucket with very expensive gasoline. There's a 24-hour sale on this Super Pocket Knife 2000. You can't afford to miss this deal. You take one pocket knife and pay the lovely shopkeeper. You used your Super Pocket Knife on the rope. It broke, but at least you managed to cut the rope. You place the rope along with the other things in your pocket. Now you have a rope entirely soaked with fuel. Sorry Chad, but I have to go. I just remembered I have an exam in half an hour. That's alright. 
Thanks for your help. Hello? Hey, Mark, you have to help me. Sure, what's up? There's this kid outside my hot dog stand I need to get rid of. Can you come here and distract him while I'm taking care of business? Of course. If you don't mind, I'll wear my gorilla costume. Fine by me. And in less than a minute, Mark shows up wearing his gorilla mask. Hey, look at me. I'm a gorilla. That gorilla mask reminds me of my grandmother. May she rest in peace. Too bad I stabbed her. You seize your chance and attach the fuel-filled bucket on the loose nail. You carefully place the fuel-soaked rope in the fuel-filled bucket. Do we have fire yet? Yes, we sure have fire. Miss Mother Goodheart, you have to come quick to Mermaid City Promenade. There's a miserable, deserted kid here. I'm coming, I'm coming. It's a good thing you called me, Chad. I'll take this miserable, deserted, burnt kid to my house. But where is your house? Um, near the mental institution. Now it's time to take that burnt kid with me. No!